Hi, this is Aurora from Scrappy Mania, and you may notice that my surrounding, I have a different craft table and my surrounding is different, it's because I'm not at home. I'm actually um, staying at a hotel for two weeks on a business trip, so I'll be here for two weeks. And I decided that I wanted to fit in some scrapbooking in between work. Uh, my family's not here, I don't have to worry about cooking, cleaning, you know, getting the kids ready for school the next day or even getting myself ready for, for work because all my clothes and everything, it's already laid out. I know what I'm going to wear. So I pretty much have a lot of free time in the afternoon. So I decided instead of spending that time watching TV, um, I decided to just bring some basic supplies along with me so I can scrap. And also it's going to help me challenge me. Um, because I don't have die cutters, I got don't have much uh, uh, of ways of punches. I got a couple punches, and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have to use more of my imagination to create these layouts. Now I did bring a lot of stamps because I do like using a lot of my stamps and cut them apart and color them and put them on my layout. So I did bring a lot of stamps, but I am challenging myself to kind of be a little more creative doing this trip. So the first thing I want to show you is the paper that I'm going to be using. I'm going to be using this Heidi Swap specialty paper. And these are the papers that I decided to use on this layout. It's going to be a double spread layout. I do not have the pictures, but I will put the, the photo mats just so that way they'll be, they'll be placed on there. So when I do develop the pictures, I just got to plop them down. So here are some of the papers that I'm planning to use on this layout. And Heidi Swap paper is very, very nice. I really love this paper stack. It's perfect for boys layouts. I do have a video in where I show you everything, the whole paper stack. So I'll put the link on the description box below this video showing you this whole paper pad but um, it's a pretty nice paper pad. I also am going to use this um, cutter. I did purchase this some time ago and actually I got it at Big Gloss about four years ago and I brought it along on this trip. So I brought along stuff that I haven't been used for a while so I'm going to use this and then I have these punches. This is from Jenny Bolin. So I got this punch. I'm going to use it on this layout. And this other punch. And this is more like a file folder or file punch. So I'm going to use that one. I'm also going to be using this stays on metallic ink because gold, this year, gold is going to be in everything. So I decided to kind of put some gold embellishments or elements on this page. And then I took one of the pages here, has a lot of little um, quarter parts. And it's, let me see if I have another one like that. Because usually the pages that have a lot of like cut aparts in them, I cut them and I put like this one. This is one of the pages. So I cut this one up and I have a lot of little um, shapes in here that I'm going to go ahead and use for my layout. So for no for, with no further ado, I'm going to start cutting everything up and I'll start putting my layout together. So far, this is what I have of my layout. So the this piece is 12 by 12 and then I cut an 11 by 11 piece and I'm going to place that there. This measure is 6.5 by 4.5 and, and it's going to go portrait. This measures 5 inches by 12 and that's going to go there. And then this strip is just a scrap piece of paper and I used my knockout from American Craft to create the little strip there and that's going to go there. And then these are actually four and a quarter by three and a quarter. So I cut three of those and that's going to go there. This paper is the um, remainder piece of this 12 by 12 and this actually measure 11 by six and a half. This is another strip of paper that I was a scrap and I used my punch to create the stars. And so far I have this too. Now if you notice it's a little plain. 
I need something here because there's a real open space here and it just feels um, it, it just feels empty like there's something missing and it does my layout doesn't look balanced it looks more towards the right side as you, if you look at it it just feels like it's tilting toward the right now this layout it's more balanced because as you can see I have this piece of paper that is not all the way to the top. If I put it all the way to the top like that, it look it will not look as balanced. It looks like there's something missing on the bottom. But by bringing this piece down, more about one third of the way down, notice just by doing that how it looks a little more complete. You put a little bit of journaling, some little elements in here and maybe a little tag up here or something up here and it will look a lot it looks it will look more complete now we need to address this i want to create some kind of bracket or semicircle so let's see and i don't want to take the whole page i just want a little area so let's see if i can create something like this and then I'm going to cut it because I don't need this whole piece okay I did salvage that little piece there for another layout and then I'm just going to cut the circle and I'm going to lay this underneath like that and see immediately that actually made it a little looks a little better now I did when I, I didn't really look at the pattern I should have thought cut it this way instead of um, because as you can see the camera is facing that way it should have been cut this way but I think I'm still going to use it I'll just kind of need to put something here embellishment or a letter or something to cover um, that camera so now that I have overall the layout I'm going to go ahead and start pulling from my stash of embellishments that are already cut. And I'm going to start placing these on the page. Now that I have the overlay, the layout, the structure of my layout, I'm going to start gluing everything down. So I'm just going to fast forward the video and I'm just going to explain a little bit of what I was thinking when I started composing this page. And one of the things that I really like doing is inking the edges, especially if you notice this page, it has like a little distressed look to it. So putting ink on the edges really help with that distressed look and kind of looks a little more uh, vintage and a little more chic. And then, um, and like I explained earlier on the video, the reason why I put that semicircle there is because it looked plain. So just notice by putting that little semicircle there, it really kind of fill up the space, but not too much. And then putting those little clusters, I went through all my paper stack and started looking for a little cluster where I can put some of my journaling and also some more little tags and things that I had to build up the journaling area. And then I just wanted to use this banner and that's what I did there. It, to me, it needed like a little banner and I used my staple and that really complete that layout. And then moving on to the second page, I'm going to ink the edges also. And then I'm going to place that 11 and 11 by 11 piece of cardstock right in the center of that page. And when I put my strip down, I'm putting it a little towards the upper one third of the page. I'm not really putting in the in the center. And then, of course, I cut my three mats, smaller mats, in threes, and that will make it more pleasing to the eye. And I'm just finishing up a little more of the touches by putting some um, clusters on either side of that layout. 
And then the last bit is using some gold stays on. I'm going to stamp a good day. And then I stamp another phrase on the other um, side of my Here's page. Here's my one page. And my second page. So I hope you like this tutorial, how you can create a simple layout without a lot of um, die cuts and anything like that. So I hope you like this tutorial and thank you for watching.